We're back. And this time we're in the kitchen because we want to begin to share the first of three keys to greater health. So our lunch today starts here with this beautiful lentil dish with red pepper and lots of seasoning. That's our main course. And the, seat, the key that I want to share with you is in the refrigerator, so let's go over there. It's what we'll add to the lentils. So we open the fridge doors, and what do we see? The first thing we see is a shelf of kale, lettuces, and chard from our farmer that we volunteer for. We're so lucky to have it, so take a look. Here's our kale. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. We've got curly kale and we've got red, gorgeous, whoops, he's a little floppid kale. And we use that every day. That'll be part of our lunch today. And then I've got, let's see right here, some of the beautiful lettuce in the farm. Look at the life in this. How alive and inviting he is. We'll have him for dinner. And then I want to show you the chard. See how beautiful? He's just so happy. He's a happy, happy chard. Gorgeous, we picked him yesterday. Okay, but then there's more. When I open my drawers, what do I find? Cilantro, cilantro, more green, basil, more green. And I open my other drawer and I have cabbage. And this we always mix with our kale. And yesterday, like we had turnip greens, kale, chard, and cabbage. It's all so beautiful. So I'm gonna get my chard out. Now why? Why is our fridge full of dark leafy greens? So where is the highest nutrient density for health? It's in these dark green foods. We just love them. We're so drawn to them. And the reason is they feed the body to thrive, to come alive, and they give you immediate energy. And for me, a lot of well-being. I just feel so grateful that we're able to eat this food. Yeah, when I first met Connie, um I don't think I'd ever tasted kale. <laughs> and uh, I had so much pain, as those of you have heard my story from um, arthritis, and I was playing volleyball competitively, and after a tournament, I was in serious pain. And she just uh, got me on to greens and uh, other whole foods and away from processed foods and dairy. And in a matter of weeks, literally, um, that pain was subsiding. So. It isn't just that um, it has the highest nutrient density. Our bodies love it, and we see the, uh, if we have conditions that are from inf inflammatory foods, it really reverses that, so yeah, that's great. And do you want to join me here? Oh, Why I don't... change the camera. Oh, okay. If... How do I do that? There we go. So and then we up. also, as we've talked about so many times on our different video blogs, found that it was essential to deal with the mental emotional piece in our relationship around food. Yeah, um, so we give you a lot of guidelines. You know, key, Connie's talking about the keys to better health. And what's important is that we hold all of this lightly. Because really all of these things that we're sharing with you, the guidelines that we share, they're not just ideas. They're representative of what our bodies need. And our bodies know, there's intelligence in our bodies. Our bodies know what they need. That's for sure. So the guidelines help to kind of fill in the map. So intellectually, we understand how this works. But basically, 
our ancestors, they found what served them intuitively. They went to it and they tried everything and, and they noticed this works and that doesn't. You know, they learned what was poisonous and what was really sure. nutritional. And so we have that capacity as well. So when we give you these guidelines, it's really good to fill in the map about this is how we really stay healthy and not make it about right and wrong, about good and bad. Yeah, like in our health and natural weight loss course, there are no restrictions. That's one of the main tenets. Yeah, and so a lot of people are pretty surprised because typically when you come into a health or a weight loss program, they want to be told what to do so they can go on autopilot. Don't make me think just I want to lose this weight so I can get in the dress at my daughter's wedding, right? <laughs> and that's not our, our approach because we want to help people establish a healthy relationship with food and that means being really present with your food and listening to your body. So we give you these guidelines, these keys to uh, healthy living and natural weight loss, but what we encourage you to do is really find the truth of that in your own experience. Yeah, within you. Yeah, this the, deeper knowing that we all have within. Right, and, and, and we're free of that whole guilt and shame thing that comes up yeah. when we make things right and wrong. So, freedom. Let's freedom. Go there. Now, the recipe, of course, will be all about greens today. So, check it out below and try it. See how your body talks to you and is grateful. Thanks for joining us.